Well, welcome again to the 20th Spotlight Series for the St. Genevieve Museum Learning Center. Tonight, when we are here with the Lions Club and members from the museum. My name is Jan Lloyd, and I'm the Executive Director of Education, or the Director yeah. of Education. There no, we go. I don't know, kind of got that executive yeah, no. thing in there. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah. They you didn't know about the, the raise you got. <laughs> Uh, and I'd like to introduce my guest this evening. We're going to start on my left here, and that's Rich Rebecca. Well, let me see. We're the executive director of PR, right? No, Rich? actually, former <laughs> director of PR. Oh no! Yeah, we have we I have retired a, already. On well, no, no, I'm, I'm I'm still on the executive board, <laughs> and I'm still being a thorn in everyone's side. But uh, since we brought on uh, Steph Greminger, who's you know a marketing right. you know whiz then you know public relations dovetails well with marketing That's and it right. makes no sense to have two people you know possibly working against one another so um, she's taken over I'll, I'll still write the scripts in the overview for these spotlight shows but until she's ready sure well you still have a big part here so and then to my yeah. left <laughs> left we have Jack Dunsey Jack Dunsey is a member of the Lions Club and do you hold an office there Jack? I do not no. But you've been around a long I'm time. Just a time helper. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome. To my right, we have Butch Stevens. And Butch, you're the president, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. Of the Lions Club. Welcome. Thank you. And then Steph Goodell. Stephanie Goodell. Goodell. She also plays in the Lions Club, but is also quite busy with the museum. So welcome back. Thank you. All right. So we are going to talk about the casino night that is coming up this Saturday evening. Um, Starts at six o'clock. We're opening the doors at mm -hmm. six o'clock. six. And we're going to just have a really good time. Um, first of all, before we get started about just what's going to be at the casino night, let's just kind of talk about the history of the Lions Club and the St. Genevieve Museum working together. Would you want to talk about that a bit? Well, we started last year at the Eclipse. We kind of got together there. We were both going to set up and do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So we decided we'd just combine forces. Everything worked real good there. And then last year, we came up with Casino Night. We came together there, had a real good time. I went, we had to cancel the first one, which probably hurt us quite a bit on our second one. Yeah. But uh, we still had a, a lot of people show up. Everybody was there, had a good time. They've talked to people, and people kept asking all year long, are you going to do it again? Are you going to do it again? And we said, of course, we're going to try. So. Here we are, we're ready to go. And just everybody just show up and have a good time with us. Right, so we also want to thank Dick Greminger and the crew at the Oars for offering their facilities for our Definitely. organizations Definitely because we couldn't do it without you. them. They open the doors and we come in and really set up and have a great time. They will be an open bar, right? It, it'll be a cash bar. A cash bar? Yeah, but it, oh, you're it will right. be, yeah, we'll be cash a cash bar, bar and uh, as Dick, after working all day long, he's opening up the Oris tonight. There's a crew over there moving the mm -hmm. um, entertainment tables and chairs out of the way. So when the tables come in, they can be walked in and, and set up. So there's, there's some of us from both organizations over there doing work tonight. Getting it all ready, right? All righty. So, um, do you want to talk a little bit more about what we're going to see at Casino Night and what tables will be there? Sure. There's going to be five blackjack tables, one poker, one craps, and one roulette table. So, and we're also going to project horse races up onto a screen so people can place bets on those. And in between time, you can walk around and try your hand at blackjack or poker. So each of the horse races is are sponsored by one of the organizations in town or one of the businesses in town, right? Yes. So we're going to be promoting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every horse race is sponsored by an organization, and every table is sponsored by an organization as well. So we really so. want to thank them for oh, yes. sponsoring their tables and the, mm -hmm. the races and just really supporting this event. Yes. There's going to be two posters with everyone's logo on it that's sponsored, placed throughout the venue. And then there's also little table tents at each table. And um, Stephanie Griminger, our marketing director, she's going to project um, logos up onto the screen in between the horse races as well. Great, so we'll be really 
appreciating them all night long, right? And yeah, and, and and afterwards too. And anybody that any any sponsorships that we pick up mm -hmm. now that we've got the, the poster boards made and, and the, the table tents made, mm -hmm. um, we will have paper versions um, of either their logo or their name mm -hmm. <coughs> somewhere in, in in the facility as well. But when we do our thank you, we take a full page mm -hmm. uh, ad space in the Herald and all the sponsors will be listed. Mm -hmm. All the, all the uh, donors for the auction items will mm -hmm. be listed. So we, everybody that night and after the fact will get, you know, we, we, we want people to look at this as an annual event. You know, and if, if they realize how much fun everybody's having, mm -hmm. then, you know, we can count on them, you know, sponsoring the event, you know, and if we have sponsorships, that means whatever whatever money after the after the evening is counted out it, it comes both to both organizations and we and we split the bills down the middle, we split we split the profit down the middle. And we have no snow in the forecast this year. Right? You know what? It, no. You know what? And it doesn't it doesn't matter. I mean I mean we We'll close a half hour early to get the whole evening in. <laughs> no, I think I think we're going to be good this year. And we're looking at perfect weekend. weather. Yeah. We have already had our snow weekends, right? Mm -hmm. right. We've got that out of the way. Okay, yeah. now on these hor on the horse races, you can play the horse races and still be playing back blackjack or any of the other games. It's not mm -hmm. an isolated. No, thing. no, no. And and we have we have ac people. We ha we actually have people that we call runners that will, you know, five minutes out, somebody will announce mm -hmm. when post time is, and about five minutes out, they'll remind you. Post time is five minutes out. Someone will come around a table, and then, uh, much like a cocktail person, they'll. They'll take your bet. Take your bet. Yeah, they'll take your bet, and then the payout and, and your money and 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 oh, your, your, your play your money chips. or your, your chips. chips. Yeah, <laughs> and um, then the, the thing happens. The thing happens eight times. So we kind of take a pause with blackjack while this race is. Oh, well. it's it's All amazing. Everybody stops and watches. Everybody stops. Yeah. Everybody yeah. stops. Yeah. Yeah. And no, yeah. Nobody yeah. wants yeah. nobody yeah. wants yeah. you to spin the wheel. Yeah. You know, they just, everybody yeah. stops and even if they don't bet, they just yeah. look up at the screen and watch watch the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really a fun. A fun really night. Yeah. We're serving popcorn all night long, and we've got drinks available, and everybody just is in a cheery mood and having fun. So it is. It's quite a, a great time. It is. It, it truly is. So how we make these games happen is within the two organizations, we have volunteers that will come in and run the different games. So I know that I'm going to be a, a dealer for Blackjack for part of the night. We have different people set up all night long to be changing those posts. And uh, so we also get to have fun half the night, and then we work half the night, and that's how we're making it happen. We get the tables through a venue. Is that right, mm -hmm. Stephanie? Yes. So St. Louis Casino Party. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And so the professional tables, it looks mm -hmm. like what you would see in a casino, right? Yep. <laughs> They're going to bring them down and set them up. So mm -hmm. everything. And, and, and you don't have to be a experienced gambler or, or, or know these games. You, you kind of just jump in there and have fun with everybody else it's nothing's not serious it's just yeah it's you know it's get in there and enjoy fun. it and take yeah. take a chance yeah it's yeah. It, 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 and it's a fundraiser you know people are, yeah. come in knowing first and foremost that this isn't one of the casinos up in st louis they're not in las vegas although the tables are las mm -hmm. vegas style um but it's 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 a way to kill you know two, three, four hours on a Saturday night in the dead of winter. Mm -hmm. Well, we have looser slots, so they say, or not slots, but uh, regulations, I guess I should say. <laughs> regulations to do this? <laughs> well, yes, because we're not actually promoting gambling, nor are we truly gambling, because everything that is bet, it's bet with play money. Um, poker chips uh, and poker, mm -hmm. yeah, poker chips, and um, somebody somebody will come in, somebody will come into the venue, and um, last year uh, my wife Mary was the greeter, and you know at, the first words out of her mouth was welcome, um, I'm sure you're going to have a good time, the bank is over to the right, 
or the bank is over to the left. And what a person will do is they'll come in and they'll make a, a, a cash donation to our organizations. Mm -hmm. And then we're so happy and pleased that that happens, we will triple that donation in paper money. So if somebody gives us a $20 bill, it goes to the banker. They get $60 for the chips. They get, no, they get $60 worth of paper money okay. of which they can, the they can do the chips. You know, so what we're doing is the, the chips are at the table, they're not at the, at, at the bank. That way they, oh, okay. we don't have a long line of people, you know, okay. waiting. So, um, so they, they turn their play money into the dealer or the person who's got the chips at the table, right? right? And then we sort out the chips and they play at our yeah, table I, or I, our venue. Uh -huh. um, I, if memory serves me right, I think I can have, let's see, the seven or eight people playing at the same time uh, on the roulette table. Because mm -hmm. I think I have seven or eight colored chips. So if somebody will give me $10 worth of paper money and I'll give them uh, their color okay. chip to bet. Yeah, okay. You know, so somebody will have white, somebody will have blue, somebody will have green, somebody will mm -hmm. have red. Okay. And then they have a certain amount of time to, and we'll get into how to play the games a little later in the evening, but um, at the end of the evening when it's time to do the auction, then they take those chips and they cash them in for paper money. Mm -hmm. And they use paper money to, to bid on, to bid bid on, on the, the auction, auction items. Mm -hmm. So it's, we're playing, a, we're playing games of chance since cash isn't being you know, handed back out again. If that was the case, then we'd have to do just like the big facilities up in St. Louis. We'd have to apply for uh, a gambling, a permit, gambling permit, permit, and mm -hmm. that, that would cut big time into you know, what, pro what yeah, little profits we make mean. because it's only for one evening. Right, right. So, okay. Oh. Blackjack tables, we have a lot of fun there. I so remember last year I had like five or six blackjack tables. Or three, five, 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 five yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember the table that I was dealing at. There was a woman come in, right at the bat, sat in the middle chair, mm -hmm. and when Jan took over for me at the same table, the lady was still sitting in that <laughs> chair. And when we quit, she was still there. She was having a ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. She never left that chair all night long. <laughs> And then I remember one guy, he won the first horse race. And it was an odds, long odds, heavy odds. He played blackjack all night long. <laughs> it's easy to sit down and not get up because really it is. Oh, just, you get you to, you get to have few, so much fun. Few, but then you win a few more and then you just <laughs> you think know? you're going to win some more, right? right. Yeah, yeah, and, and the, the enthusiasm is, is kind of infectious. Mm -hmm. I mean, people, I, while I was doing, you know, the roulette, I, I'd be you know, looking up at the, at the screen and, and nobody on my table bet the race, but yet they're screaming and yelling for their favorite number or their favorite color. And then, I mean, it's just, it's, it's so easy to get absorbed, you know, into the, uh, in, into the, uh, into the evening. Um, I think that was one of the, def definitely the hottest spot all night. The roulette table. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and uh, I'm a numeric idiot, so um, <laughs> people really, you know, <laughs> anybody that comes to the roulette table is going to win because I, I just can't count well. <laughs> <laughs> I think I needed a little help with my blackjack feeling too. You really came down to it. Thought, how does this go? Like when somebody, you did a great job. Oh, we had fun. <laughs> oh yeah. And well, it comes back. We're, we are going to practice. Friday, Friday is night. practice yeah. night. We're going to get back in the saddle and we're going to do our <laughs> well, you know, what, what, dealing. Since we're, t we're telling little, little war stories, about three quarters of the way through the evening, a couple came in and they, they were at the far, they were at the far end of the, uh, uh, the table and she saw the difficulty I was having with math and she said to me, she says, can, can, I, can I tell you something? I said, well, yeah, sure. She said, um, you're paying off one to whatever. I said, yeah. She said, well, don't try to multiply five times 17 in your head. Just count out 
five stacks of 17. <laughs> wow, that makes this game so easy. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to do math in my head, and I'm getting so, to a point where I'm saying, you know what? You look friendly. Here, take that stack and, you know. <laughs> 17 stacks of five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's always got to be an easier way, Rich. Oh, yeah. I hope she got there early. Huh? I hope she got there early. I, I, I kind of expect to see her if she comes back <laughs> early, because they know until I remember, it's, you know, count them out individually, uh -huh. not, don't do the math. Well, and we can also say right next door is a lot of good food if they... Uh, they can go over and get a snack as yeah. long as they come back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, there's, there's no, it's free admission. There's, there's no, yeah. they can come back and forth, back and forth. And as Stephanie mentioned, uh, uh, um, there, or maybe you mentioned, there's, there's snacks mm -hmm. all over mm -hmm. the bar. Yeah, you know, we provide, we provide uh, snacks. Mm -hmm. um, um, I actually, I bought the snacks, um, salty snacks. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people will be thirsty because we get, we get a piece of the body. We get a piece of the body too. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I I've, never, I've never figured out why there's not a jar of peanuts at a bar because the more peanuts you eat, the more beer. Oh, you they'll drink. they'll they'll be a jar then because I I went to Costco. I needed two hands to right. take that bucket of salted peanuts to put in, in the cart this afternoon. <laughs> Gotta have the peanuts. Oh. Well. Let's talk about, so at the end of the night, you end up with all these chips that turn into money again. Where do, where do you go with that money at the end of the night? You're going to be bidding on something. You want to talk about the end of well, it? How yeah. does that work? Yeah, at the end of the night, we have an auction that you can use your play money to bid on items at the auction. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have Oki doing the auction, right? Yeah, but not the Oki we had a year ago, I heard. Okay. We're going to have somebody doing the auction you know okay. announcing he's he's going to be uh Oki's replacement uh, what, what's Oki's first name anybody the auctioneer Tom 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 okay yeah he uh he and his wife uh uh helped us out last year mm -hmm. and he's he's got a conflict this year so but somebody else with auctioneer uh experiences it will be there and we've got items that we've got items that uh, were donated to us that we can auction off. They're related items, and they're so close being related that if there are four items in the lot, we can auction off the lot as two separate lots, or um, items that are in a basket as one lot. And how the auction goes, even we don't know. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's that that's a surprise for us. But you'll see people pooling their their chips, and, you know, and then then pooling their paper money, and then knowing that they're within the ballpark of, you know, what's uh, and and some of the, some of the stuff, um, you know, some of the stuff uh, that that was donated. Uh, um, it's it's really you know, nice. it's good. Yeah, it's it, it's good stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if we'll have a, as many items as we had a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, but then again, even if we didn't have any items at all, I mean, I know. this is a fundraiser, and it's just we do it for like a little thank you at the end of the night, so you don't go away empty-handed. Yeah, right. So, well, I think you had uh, uh, quite a few items last year, and it was getting down to the end, and and, and everybody was kind of pot piling things. Yeah, yeah. And, you I, know, I don't. You know, yeah, that. Well, well everybody you don't need money. Too, you, know. Yeah, you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't. You don't really need a, a, yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. People were running out of play money because some of the bigger items they had spent way up there to get them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a a raffle. A fifty-fifty raffle. Fifty-fifty raffle. And yeah, that goes that goes on all night long. Right. Okay. And, 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 and last year we had a weekend getaway last year. Did we have anything like that this year? I don't, I don't, I don't believe so. But I do remember the 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 the, the person who who won last year's fifty fifty turned the cash back in right. yeah, as, as a donation. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, which is really you know really really nice. So the spirit of the evening is to come out. You know, again, we're, we're not promoting gambling. We're not promoting drinking. Um, um, if anybody gets is squirrely about those two things, well then you know maybe this isn't the you know the 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 event that you want to you know p to participate in, but y you can come in as we mentioned before, sit at the bar, and people watch. 
Yeah. And it is, it is. Watch is the an, races, right? The races, yeah. watch, and watch the races. The, watch the races. Free and you don't even have to bid on them. No, that. right. no, not yeah. at all. A lot of people just go to the mall to watch the people. Yeah. Well, you know, they just come in and watch us. Yeah. <laughs> watch, watch Rich us try to count. count. And watch, watch, us watch me now. try to count. Look, yeah. he's got his sneaker and his sock off, and he still can't count right now. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that lady? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, let's talk about how the monies that come in that night are going to benefit the, the Lions Club. What are your projects this year? Can we talk about that a little bit? Because that might be a reason why people might come out, just to promote what you guys are doing. Well, the Lions Club, a local Lions Club, first of all, we give two scholarships every year, one to Valley, one to $1,000 scholarship, one to the high school, the Red Republic School, and one to Valley. Mm -hmm. We... The reason I got into the Lions Club was kids and glasses. Mm -hmm. We have so many kids in elementary mm -hmm. that sometimes their parents just cannot afford glasses. Mm -hmm. And those kids, if they can't read, they fall behind, they fall behind, they fall behind, and then finally, man, there's just no hope for them. They get to high school, they can't read. We provide a service that if they need glasses, they go to the eye doctors here in town, mm -hmm. and we'll take care of it. We take care of it. And to me, that is one of the main things that I am definitely for, because I hate to see a kid suffer because of somebody, you know, <coughs> because they have something that can be fixed. And, and the teachers are the ones that usually see that right, and say, hey, let's get hold of somebody here and talk about it. But it's not limited to the just to the children. We do adults and anybody that comes to us that needs help, um, we, we try to help them out. I mean, uh, we do have a, a procedure we go through to kind of verify that they are in need and, uh, you know, if they don't have a $300 direct TV bill or something, and yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> they have yeah, like they, that. Have, they have procedures and paperwork they have to fill out. But uh, along with the but we do locally. The Lions are our big supporters of in the international uh, part of the Lions. Uh, LCIF is uh, the international foundation, and when you have disasters like the tsunami or these hurricanes mm -hmm. and things, the Lions Club International is pouring money in there to help out. And in some areas, some countries, the Lions Club was the only group that could go in there and provide aid uh, uh, ahead of any of the other organizations because they were already set up in that country. We're in like 172, 172 countries, 73 countries right now. We're in a uh, but but we also a lot of our money goes to about five or six other international groups like Leader Dog for the Blind. Uh, we 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 help them out every year. Uh, Mid South. Uh, Sight and Hearing is down in uh, Tennessee, and uh, they do uh, provide corneas and all kinds wow. of things there. Uh, I think we had over 1,600 pair of glasses. Right. I might, that might be low, that when we have our annual meeting, uh, district meeting, we take all the clubs to bring their glasses in, and then they're s separated out by a group of people that do this and, and passed out to people, so. Yeah, we uh, have. We have places all around town for people to drop drop boxes for people to drop their used glasses in or glasses they're not using and all those glasses are recycled and used somewhere i think i might have a few that i should drop in i do i have yeah. some for my kids yeah. our family all wears glasses i remember when russ was probably first grade and they realized that he needed glasses and when he put his first pair on he said those trees have leaves, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> so you think about what was he really seeing in school, right? But I can really understand how this uh, is. That's what I was saying about it just, just helps a kid when they can see, you know, the, wor the words, the letters, and everything aren't running together. That's mm -hmm. when they get behind. But like I say, we ha she said we help the elderly also. Mm -hmm. all, all of the money that, that we uh, get donated is passed out to people. We, spending you know, a lot of that money on ourselves. We don't have a club room, we don't have a lot of upkeep. Our park's pretty easy to take care of. And uh, so uh, all of our money goes back out to help someone. 
Yes, one of our biggest, I guess you could say one of our biggest fundraisers is Sure to Fit. We'll have three bands down there playing all the time, and we'll have good food. We always have a couple of beer wagons. There's music, always music, people dancing and everything. They mm -hmm. just come down to the park and have a good time. We're, we're kind of proud of our park right now. It's, it's a lot better than what we started out with, what, 10 years ago, eight years ago when we put this one in. This has been about, yeah, it's been there about 10. Yeah, but that one little old shed we had down there that we had to do all our cooking and everything in, no air conditioning, nothing like that. It was, mm -hmm. it's so much better where we are now. <laughs> <laughs> and we're twice the size as we were 10 years ago. With the numbers in your membership? And all the size of our park. Oh, right. So yeah. we, we doubled the size of our park out there. organization is also yes. growing in St. Yes. An organization, we're 40 some people in our organization. Mm -hmm. like, like, uh, one of our members said the last time we had a meeting, we're the best kept secret in town mm -hmm. for some reason. <laughs> well, we really appreciate what you do. It's really fun to work with you. It's really fun to work with you, and I mean to bring a couple organizations together and to put on an event like the Casino Night. It's it makes it more fun because there's more people to get in there and yeah, work and right. share the I agree. the task. It's much better to have a group work right. Absolutely. Work yeah. 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 We have more fun and we get more accomplished. Mm -hmm. And all the connect context that we have between the two organizations brings in a good party, right? Mm -hmm. It does. Right. And this this is our our kickoff event for the year, I guess mm -hmm. we'll say. Uh, right, right. And uh, so we'll follow this up with the pancake breakfast okay. on, the, on the 19th, 17th. And, and, um, and then uh, French Heritage Day. French Heritage Day in June. Mm -hmm. We'll have it in June. You get the best best beignets in the country. Hey. <laughs> we know who makes them, don't we? <laughs> best beignets in the country. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. You, you heard it first here tonight. Oh, we, we spend a whole week getting that dough and everything ready just yeah. right so we can cook them up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. So, so then after Dirty Fet, uh, I guess we got to have Rural Heritage Day and, and the Christmas Walk. Mm -hmm. So we do, we're, we're pretty heavily involved in the Christmas Walk. Uh, Annette, she does a fantastic job putting that together. God bless her, it's a job. And mm -hmm. she, she, she just does a heck of a job putting that together. And then we, we come in with uh, helping with the parade and then we have uh, the park opened up down there and we serve all about oh, near 300? 250, 300 hot dogs to kids. For, we give a hot dog, uh, water, and a chip, a little brown bag yeah. for a kid that comes through under oh, 12. And we got Santa down there, and someone to take pictures of mm -hmm. the Santa and Mrs. Santa. So. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> so it's a pretty good year, but this is getting to be a good event here. I think. Mm -hmm. I think this is. A yeah, this is this year is this, an important year yeah, because yes. the rule is. You make it to the if third you make it to the third year, it becomes an event. All right. You know, the first year people come out because they're curious. The second year they come out because they had a really good time. And they're looking for this yeah. event to follow the King's Ball every year. Yeah. And that's what we're hoping for. We're hoping, we're hoping that you know this becomes an event because right now it's probably our only at this point in time. Yes. Unless we have only scheduled eclipse, one, right? Unless we have another eclipse. I don't. Know. We, we've this got a couple years ago. We've, we've got bills to pay, so we. I don't think we can wait till <laughs> oh, <laughs> for another eclipse. But might have to come up with a new new uh, program. Huh? Well, we we have mm -hmm. something in the works uh, in, in the springtime mm -hmm. that uh, we're um, we're still noodling uh, the idea. And we'll we'll give it a real good hard look at, after the casino night, because um, we're kind of we're we're in a bit of a different kettle of fish, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, we uh, we closed our facility in December. Mm -hmm. um, the original. The, the, the original the, the original museum. Um, we don't get a lot of foot traffic in December, January, February, uh, even early March. Um, so we decided to close, but we still have payroll. Um, our new facility is still being worked on, so we still have overhead. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, well, you don't have a whole lot left in the old facility right now. 
the old facility, the six horizontal display cases um, have been emptied and all of those items the new uh, ones, yeah. ha have been stored. They're right. not on display right. yet, right. but they have been yeah. stored. Um, the, um, uh, the good people who are incarcerated in the state of Missouri in their wood shop, they're doing the, most states have a, um, a program where the, um, the prisoners that work in the wood shop uh, this is what they do. Oh, okay. uh, they they take on work for communities mm -hmm. and refinishing. All, all yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, they, well, they're going to refinish everything at for whatever cost mm -hmm. is involved in the supplies and the supplies only. There's no there's no pay. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We don't have to give them a stipend for pay. They're right. Pay no no salaries. No salary. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so the middle of the floor. Um, is is void of stuff. What's still there are some of the really big heavy stuff like the Jesse James safe, mm -hmm. like the salt log. Um, <clears throat> as soon as we get a partial occupancy permit, and that'll be based on when the basement is uh, thermostatically controlled, then we'll we'll get a crew to move all the heavy stuff out mm -hmm. um, and place the basement. That will open up that will open up the entire floor. We've done nothing with the vertical displays. Right. And we're not doing anything with the vertical displays. The, the county is in no rush to take over the expense of upgrading that facility. <coughs> you know, we, we keep the heat on just so that when Steph goes into work, she doesn't have to, you know, bundle up like she's in Alaska. <laughs> Uh, when she works at the desk. Uh, lately, she's been working out of her cell phone. She's been working remotely because, you know, <laughs> yeah. the, fr the furnace went down. We had issues. <laughs> but um, the, uh, the people that are, are still on staff are the ones that can do heavy lifting, that can do ladders, that can do stairs, because these, this is the moving crew. Um, and eventually, we'll get to the point where we'll get the green light to start to take out mm -hmm. all of the stuff in there. Now, what's gonna happen to the vertical display cases? I have no idea. Wow. Um, I do know um, the current facility, the former museum, uh, has no hot running water. Uh, there's only one uh, bathroom facility. So some of the, I know the roof uh, is leaking to the point where that was one of the springboards that what in the beginning got us to think we don't own the building it's you it's like being a renter yeah. that's paying for improvements in somebody else's house you know we've got to do something um so we we, we opted to uh, move to the uh, you know buy the ketting building and and move lock stock and barrel you know in, in, into that into mm -hmm. that site so we we we've never been uh we're a 501c3 that to the best of my knowledge has not scholarshiped any high school kids. We just don't have that kind of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, when yet comes up, you might be wanting to buy another building next door and combining it. Because the museum's going to grow, I'm sure. Uh, the museum, uh, and we've gone public with this already. We, when, when, you, when you add the collection that Guy Darrow owns. We're not talking dinosaurs, mm -hmm. we're talking uh, antiquities, right. artifacts and antiquities. When you add that to what we possess, not just what we have on display, but what we were given, mm -hmm. you know, for a, for a 501c3 donation, we received, based on the appraises, uh, appraisal, um, uh, $251,000 worth of Probably Greek, fine. Roman, Viking, money, jewelry, armaments, uh, weaponry. Um, wow. We've got we've got Roman we've got Roman um, surgeon scalpels, and the appraisers were able to date the time frame that they came in because in a certain point in time, the doctors all had favorite little um, animals, gargoyles, uh, mm -hmm. you know, butterflies, flowers that they had made to put on their specific item. Mm. So I mean, we got a whole display of these fancy looking doodads, but they were actually, you know, tools of operational 
you know, and we've got Viking uh, uh, That's chain a whole new That'd be a whole new Oh yeah, we've out, we've, 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 right now, right right you now, we can't, we cannot right now put everything that Guy Darrow is bringing and what we currently own on display at the same time. Now, the good, the good side of that, the upside of that, is that we can always have revolving displays. So you come in and uh, on January 1, you come back on uh, April 1st, uh, you may see totally different items on displays. So we can rotate it that way. You will advertise, you advertise that you're doing that yeah, though, right? Yeah. Or have you know have spe a special fundraiser? You know, one night only. These items are going to be on display. And as we get bigger, uh, we're already Stephanie. The name of the museum uh, alliance where? Yeah, the American Alliance of Museums. Uh, we're we're a member of them, which they could be facilitators in getting, um, uh, knowing that we have a lot of Viking items. They'll put us in, in contact with maybe a museum in uh, Iowa that's looking to do a Viking display. They may have a lot of Egyptian items. Well, you Egyptian, know what? Yeah. Let's coordinate two mm -hmm. special viewings. Mm -hmm. We'll right. send you up our stuff, you send you down your stuff. We could do that kind of, you know, we could do that kind of, you know, uh, bartering and trade off. Yeah. yeah. Great. Well, yeah, venture, but we're, we've outgrown. Yeah. We're already before we even move in. We've Talking already about outgrown it. Expanding already. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did yeah. I hear you say that the basement was going to be humidity controlled? Yeah. Um, the, at least in the be beginning, that's where the bulk of the uh, sensitive items are going to be stored. And um, if you haven't been in there, big area. Yeah. If you haven't been in there recently, uh, Bill Lurk and his crew. Uh, the walls are white. Are white. Uh -huh. You can actually see without the lights on down uh -huh. in that basement. Uh, there's a new entranceway, uh, but both sides are wide open. And you know the general public won't see this, but the original support beams from 1890 whatever are sitting on concrete blocks, and then what's sitting on them are what we would call. Um, Lally columns mm -hmm. in one side of the building. Wow. And that wood's got it, that wood went in when, oh, yeah. it had to be the oh. first wood in there because the ba you start with the basement and move out. Sure. <clears throat> so it's it's pretty impressive is, there. Is the basement <clears throat> completely waterproof? Uh, it, it is now. It and is now. and the, only, the only leak that, uh, or the, man, the only water that would seep a little was along the courtyard. And then when we decided, well, the courtyard has got to be level on both sides, which means we got to lower the street. Once we lowered the street, we saw where the, the water was leaking. Mm -hmm. So that's all been uh, patched up. And, and the, the courtyard now has just a slight slope right. because there's water drains in the middle. Uh, but it's not sloped enough where, you know, you're going to feel yeah, like you're, you're not, walking you're up and down mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Just enough degree to take care of the yeah. water off. Yeah. What do you guys think about that new sign over the courtyard? Oh, very it's nice, yes. It is nice, it is nice. It is nice. Yeah. Yeah, it up really nice. And, the, and the front of the building is looking really nice, too, with the windows and... Yeah, now, I don't know if it was just the light the other day, but I think they might have already painted the white. Is that right? I, I, that kind of begins with a P. It's not precipice, it's some word that begins with P that refers to all that decorative woodworking and stuff. Oh. You know, now with the courthouse, you need a tea house. That courtyard in there. You well, all right. Well, <laughs> looking down the road a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like we 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 envision we envision the from the clip joint back mm -hmm. as a living museum, where the general public won't have to pay anything, but they'll be able to see what's happening. Like if we if we open up. Mm -hmm. uh, the wall of the clip joint, the brick wall, if we mm -hmm. take that out and put in windows like we have on the front of the building, right. people on the courtyard could actually watch the curator or people on staff cleaning fossils, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, doing painting on small objects and stuff. It's, it's like a lab space. Mm -hmm. Next to the lab space, we're thinking about having a concession stand. Just so, yeah. 
yeah. a tea room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and then beyond that, you know, we'll have a vertical lot structure that 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 we own that's sitting out in, in the county. We 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 can't bring it over just yet. And people, you know, we've been we've been telling we've been telling people we'd like to we'd like to have a five cents type of uh, facility. And the first you know the first response is well taste is one of the five senses mm -hmm. and well, yeah i said how cool would it be for a, a bunch of mm -hmm. uh, elementary school kids to come and watch somebody in fur trade outfit making corn muffins over an open fire mm -hmm. we'll have space for that kind of cultural stuff uh in addition to uh, everything else is going, and it will be uh, other than the items in the concession stand. It, it'll be free to the public. I mean, you, can, you you have nothing to do, but you don't have time to visit the museum. Well, grab yourself a, a, a coke and a bag of popcorn and just sit on the courtyard. And More. oh, by the way, there's a big outdoor television, and you can see the infomer the infomercials that we're going to make about what's happening mm -hmm. inside, mm -hmm. and all that all that mm -hmm. will be free to the public. Mm -hmm. So. Eventually, the whole block will be the museum. Um, I would, uh, I would, if it, if it were left up to me and, and the be. money, <laughs> yeah, um, I would, I would. One building at a time. Yeah, one building at a time. You know, right. and, 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 and and after after a certain period of time, we'll, we'll be known as the Smithsonian of the Midwest, right? Because we'll have. You know, different <laughs> di different buildings. You gotta have a goal. You yeah. gotta have a goal. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. yeah. It's nice to see the sign go up. But now, yeah. it is. Know, some of us are getting up in age. You're gonna have to do this a little quicker. I'm not sure thinking. Well, well, how about? Yeah. We're not all as young as this young lady here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we we have to get a lot. Of, of, yes, yeah. you're right. You're 100 percent right. You know, we, we, we want to. It's, it's, it's a big. It's a real good vision. I, I think it is. I think it is, and I think we're we're, we're taking our time. Um, we're, we're 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 not planning on making mistakes, but we're leaving ourselves enough wiggle room that if a mistake is made, we have we can take a Definitely. step back and fix it. And uh, we we really, you know, we want we want to hear the word wow from that first grader right up to the person who comes in in a wheelchair because they'll be able to get around the facility just as easy. Mm -hmm. We've got lifts in place, we've got a working elevator. I mean, but we want people, we want people to be wowed. And, and I, think, I think we're on the right track. I, I really do. Don't forget to put on the tourism brochures and everything they put out. That, that's that's going to help tremendously right there. Oh, yeah. All that, yeah. all that extra advertising that the we, museum won't have to pay for. We, we met with one of the National Park rep individual and he you know he he was impressed with the uh, matter of fact um, there was a luncheon here in town one 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 day and then and they stopped at the the formal museum uh, you know the, the one that we closed in mm -hmm. December and they were pretty impressed with what they saw they were more impressed with what we well, told them what our plan was mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I don't know if it, I don't know if it was a coincidence or not, but shortly after that, that's when they started saying we need a, a presence in the downtown area. You know, they want to hang their shield mm -hmm. somewhere in the downtown area. Mm -hmm. Good. So that that would even be even. They hurt us a bit. You know. Mm -hmm. you, know? And, you know, who knows? Maybe one day we can actually afford a. A gambling license and, and, do, <laughs> and do this for real. Yeah, sure. I think there's enough casinos around. <laughs> I think you better stop, st stay with having fun. Yeah, right. yeah I guess yeah, you're having fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, 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 let's not be greedy. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, is there anything else you want to tell us about the casino night? Have we covered all of our bases there? Pretty sure we did. We, we yeah. definitely want to thank everybody that came last year. Mm -hmm. yeah. and we sure hope we yeah. see him yeah. again. Yeah. See him again. Yeah, yes. I would. Yeah. I, I'm. I, I would be kind of disappointed if we had the same the same crowd. Yeah, because meaning we went a lot more people. We, yeah, we, we did lose. Like, we lost a lot of interest when it was canceled the first time. And the, the night that we had to reschedule was a very big event. Yeah. That evening yeah. With a fail, two big families in the area. Mm -hmm. that yeah. 
Yeah, so now, wedding, you know, wedding. Yeah, you know, a lot of people missing there. But. So I, you know, I, 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 I really think, um, you know, uh, we catch a break weatherwise. If any bad weather comes in, it doesn't come in till after eleven. All right, I'm going to check my weather map here. Yeah, take a look. <laughs> I think Saturday is sunny. Yeah. It's going to be a high of 37 in St. Genevieve and a low of 27, but there's no rain. No okay. snow. precipitation. We were taking that. that. Precipitation, so. We're in good shape. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I've been watching Stick this thing for the last 10 days, and it's been looking Strong. good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. and that's, that's, good. that's good for people if they know they can come out. You know, they they can come out for the whole four-hour event, and they, you know, a five-hour event instead of just let's just pop in and because the weather's coming in, you know, everybody will get their uh, everybody will get their uh, pardon the pun dimes worth out of the evening. Yeah, maybe the, the Saturday night date. Come on, have a good time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and yeah. you you'd mentioned, um, you know, I would be remiss if I didn't throw a shout out to. Uh, to, to Dick Reminger too. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I mean, he, um, it's 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 amazing what you know what what he does for us, um, what he does for the what he did for the community, what he still continues to do for the community. Um, he had a whole crew of um, bartending help a year ago. We canceled. Mm -hmm. By the time we we rescheduled, they couldn't help out. But he was still behind the bar. He we was got there. Oh, yeah. people. He was there. He the was there. I think I remember. Yeah. Michael yeah. was there. And he's he's one of the he's one of the people that are over the hours tonight moving tables and chairs. Mm -hmm. um, and he'll be there Friday afternoon when the table setup comes in, and he'll be there Friday night. Um, you know. I'm sure he'll be behind the bar. You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll send yeah. I'll send another email out to the membership of the Lions. Reminding them about Friday night, tell them, you know, good time to come practice. And, and, mm -hmm. and this night will be with the tables. Right. I mean, last we'll year actually we just had the tables yeah. this time. That's yeah. right. Last year we mm -hmm. had to just scrounge around a little table and hope we did yeah. everything right. So. And, yeah. uh, you know, we're s setting up the card uh, um, shuffling machines. Mm -hmm. We set them up Friday night. Uh, right. We got until, t we got 24 hours to replace batteries. Mm -hmm. You know, we have that kind of wiggle room built in and it should be, uh, it, it should be fun. We'll have decorations this year too. We'll have some decorations. We'll have time for that. Yeah. Stephanie's in charge of the decorations, correct? Yep. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> got a theme on your mind? Okay. Got a theme going? Oh, we just have a bunch of decorations. Yeah, we'll just like use the uh, we'll just we use the uh, the casino type stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Last year we did a Mardi Gras theme. Right. Yeah, I that, remember that. Yeah. yeah. Oh. We thought about doing because it was supposed to be on Fat Tuesday weekend, the weekend yeah, before, right? It was the weekend right. of Fat Tuesday a year ago. Yeah, we we should have kept a vest up here that we're going to have uh, Jan wear. Oh, when she's really? dealing, we should oh, have the best up here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did you see? We got a best for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Oh yeah, is it yeah. golden? Is it what yeah. is it? Oh yeah, we, you, we got two different this kinds is, for you to wear. We have a lot. Oh. We can put them on tables too. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're yeah. stepping up. We've it's got gonna look like a whole new face. We've right? got one huh? on Steph while we're going to take pictures of it. So, yeah. yeah it Those good. pictures are not yeah. going to be released to the public. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's fix her up here a little Which bit. have you been shopping? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I have to I, model I, I, I went, uh, Yeah, I, I, I went into the All department right, store and black. I said... Uh, oh, yeah, this will be you. Really okay, nice. now, thi now this is the the red... Uh, Ooh. All right. Okay, now, that... You think? Yeah, well, vertical stripes very slimming anyway. <laughs> oh, weird. <laughs> 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 And Let's see. We're gonna we're gonna okay, yeah, there, yeah, you go. there you go. Do I look pretty official? You yeah, think I can oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we're gonna surprise everybody Friday <laughs> night by It's not really the, a surprise if you're saying it right now, but that's right. Oh yeah. <laughs> So this is not going to happen Friday night, <laughs> where where we put these. We want to wait a Saturday and surprise them. Okay. And surprise them, yeah. We'll yeah. do it Saturday. Okay, Steph, come on. I can't wear two things. Come yeah, on, right? yeah. Steph. Good. Steph, come on up. Uh, yeah, we don't have a picture of you in that one. No, you don't. <laughs> okay. And okay, here we go. Let me tell you. Yeah, the strap. Yeah, the strap. It's right back there. Is it just one strap that gets taped? Oh, I think it's oh. broken. Well, we'll have to fix that. It's like a bit now. Yeah, it did come off. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> it goes. Well, it still it works. Nice. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> it's just not oh, a yeah, thing anywhere. Oh, yeah, look. 
All right. I yeah, think you got to put them on there. <laughs> no, you know what? Oh. This, this two-sided tape here. Oh, okay. So this gets adjusted after oh. the fact. Oh, I'm so glad you figured that out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that, yeah, it's getting the middle over this. So yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> That'd be a good picture. Of that. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> okay. All right, ready for the casino night. Oh, we are yeah, ready. You ready. can't see us. We are ready. <laughs> no pictures. <laughs> no pictures. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's I'm pretty wait. official. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> No, right. no, stay, stay like Wait, that. You look, oh, you look, we have more boxes. You look, you look so like an executive director of education. Right. <laughs> you are the executive director. How did director. I get that? <laughs> oh, mercy. Yeah, if we have fun here, everybody's going to have fun. So oh, about. absolutely. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you guys for coming out. We have a little bit more time. I don't know if there's anything else we need to say. Probably about seven or eight minutes. But... Um, we don't have to take it till the end either if we've said everything that we need to say. Yeah, no. Do you have anything uh, else you want to share, Rich? No, just, reiterate just, what it is. just um, uh, we do have uh, one extra card table, right? Did we order a, a regular, or, or is it all blackjack? Five, five, yeah, blackjack? We have five blackjacks and one, one card table. Okay, one so, card table. It, yeah. Oh, so one they'll card. be able to play poker. That's it. Yep, yeah, we have one that's poker job. Yeah. A five and a seven card, don't we have two different? We poker had tables. Last. We had two last year, but one one stayed empty. Okay. okay. So hopefully, if people say, "Oh, you should have had one more card table," because we're planning on more people this year, yeah, then we know we can bring more mm -hmm. tables on on the floor. But with the five blackjack tables, one card table, we've got them all downstairs. And they're all downstairs. We've got everything thing. downstairs. We didn't have to put anything upstairs. we still got more room for people to sit around up there and yeah. watch what's going on, drink beer, eat popcorn, whatever they want to. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they're all down here, but you know, they got to, we fill the chairs, everything up downstairs. Somebody's got to have a place to set up there until someone So you're talking out. about the, the level here, the the base is where all the tables are going to be, and then like the what do you call that? The porches, and yeah. then up above right. the yeah, balcony. That, the balcony. Yeah, every, every that's all going to be open. sitting everything area. Everything that's going to be open. where people every, can the only just. The thing that will have any kind of gaming on it is the down. Is, is the, the floor. base floor. Mm -hmm. The dance floor, whatever, whatever that is, the band floor, and everything mm -hmm. like that. So okay. that will make it. Yeah. Yep. And the right. auction items are going to be on the stage. On the stage, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Last last year the auction items were uh, underneath the uh, Hosh Racing screen, but back or what would have been the far back of the stage okay. um, it's all the tables are all regulation size tables too so um, there's no difference between the tables that we're renting and a table that you would play at, at a casino yeah at a, mm -hmm. at, a, at, a, at a regular casino and the only difference you'll have is non-professional dealers Right. Yeah. Be kind to your non-professional dealers, right? right. right. We'll make a mistake every once in a while. Yeah. Uh, and we'll laugh about it. And, and a roulette okay. dealer that has a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> 17 stacks of five. Yeah. <laughs> Are you playing five or seven cards? It's whatever you want to do. So you might it's the deal of call. Right. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, deal of call. Hmm. Yeah, All right. you can do whatever you want. <laughs> You know, and with a good with a good crowd, there'll be people at every seat. There'll be people wanting to play, well, to and and it, it, it should just it should be an amazing night. Yeah, it'll be a lot. It of should fun. be. You will probably with your table. You will have a card shuffler with you, and then we'll have a runner that will keep the card shuffle for the blackjack tables. We have a six okay. card. We have a six card shuffler and a. Two card shuffle, or two to four card shuffle. We have both. Okay. So we can use the six card. That's what they use for the blackjack tables. Six decks, six deck. So yep. that's where our runners will come in. Mm -hmm. Good. Sounds pretty official. <laughs> We're working on it. Yeah. 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 Three or four more years down the line, we'll have this down pat. We'll have it down pat. <laughs> well, well, except the guy that runs the uh, <laughs> roulette table. You'll be I, wild. I really know him well, and that's not going to happen. <laughs> if it's not happening now, it's not going to It's going to get worse in five years. <laughs> if, if, he, if he really needs it, I might be able to find him a calculator. <laughs> hey, Rich, there's a calculator on your phone. <laughs> I know. Right? I know. Well, bring my phone, right? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I th this was th this is 
You're excited. You're yeah, excited. yeah. There's a level of excitement here that 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 is going to translate mm -hmm. Saturday night. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, anybody who who can't make it out Saturday night um, will probably be doing this again next year at this time. Next year at this time, right? Something to do in February. Something mm -hmm. to do in February. Well, we want them to come out this. Yeah, we want them to get. We want them to get indoctrinated. That's <laughs> right. We, 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 we want. We want them. We want them this year so that next year we can tell them. Well, this is now an event, so we want to make it an annual event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we will. Yeah. And and it actually begins with Dick mm -hmm. uh, and the Oris, and then from there it just trickles down through uh, both. Uh, both uh, 501c3 entities and it's good relationship so I don't see things mm -hmm. changing. Maybe it'll get big enough. Dick will have to expand. <laughs> wow, I never thought, of that. <laughs> never thought of that. How cool would that be? You know? And then again, maybe we just buy them out and that's part of the Smithsonian. We have our own restaurant and entertainment area. <laughs> think big. Yeah, think big, exactly. Well, Jan, I, I want to take a second before we close. We've got okay, a few minutes. Got a little bit of time. It, yeah, we don't want to go right up to the, we want to leave, uh, we want to leave Charles. And again, thank you, Charles. Uh, for doing this. Uh, he's running the board tonight, as he usually does for us. But I want to thank you because this is the 20th Spotlight Show, and you've done probably 98 percent, 95 to 98 percent hosting. And I just, you know, want to get this out on YouTube, and I want to thank you. I mean, that's a, that's a level of dedication that, uh, that I certainly appreciate. Well, you're welcome, and I don't know how I had my arm twisted to do this. Wow, well, no. <laughs> I don't know. No. You have a way of twisting arms, I, Rich. I, I never I'm said thinking. that Fat Tony or Crazy Jackie were going to pay you a visit, but <laughs> <laughs> but I do appreciate your involvement. I really do. Well, yeah, you're we're, absolutely we're welcome. It's been fun. We're waiting into the Lions Club, too. We're, no, we're waiting on her. Well, we got her first, so, uh, <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll share in events like this and casino night. <laughs> Don't get carried away. Right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Exactly. It's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed I've just learned a lot being involved with the museum, actually. I hang working with good people. You know, we can dream big, and it, to see it start to become a reality is very exciting. Yep. Um, I think it's going to provide this community with much growth in the future. And that's what we're hoping is Hope that so. we can, yeah. you know, bring people, share our little town, share the wealth, the history here, share even more than what we have here in St. Genevieve, but what we can look at as the history of the world. Um, so it's pretty exciting. I mean, the more, the older I get, the more I appreciate what's happened before me. and And teaching and sharing that and passing it on. So it's all good. All good. We've got more and more, you know, retired teachers joining us. Mm -hmm. They're working with us in the museum. I love seeing that. I think that that's going to bring in some very good programs for our different ages of children as they come in to visit the museum. So I'm very excited about that. Yes, indeed. Yeah. So thank you for your dedication, Rich. Mm -hmm. You've really been a, a voice and a ton of energy that has continued to excite people about this big venue, so we couldn't do it without you either. And well, all that you've done to mentor Stephanie it's, in her role. It's, it's a team. Yeah. It's a team, it's a team effort. It's I really look crazy in this hat. But, you know, <laughs> and, but, let me, before you close off, let me apologize. I should have get, there's a red visor there. Oh. The uh, feng shui like, is off I because like I think red, those, white, are uh, right. those are black stripes. Those are black stripes. Yeah, the feng shui is off. I, I, <laughs> Saturday night, we'll get you red, or, red well, on bring red. Bring out your eyes, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. That blue, that blue. Oh, too. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we look forward to seeing all of you at the casino night mm -hmm. this Saturday. The date is February 9th, 9th, 9th. Yes. 2019. That's what we're talking <laughs> yeah. about tonight. Yeah. Opens at 6 o'clock, and we'll be there till 11. 11, 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Or still having drinks after that if we're having such a good oh, time, will. right? Yes. Oh, yeah. I think they're picking up the tables that evening, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. we can still have yeah. a few drinks while they're picking right. up the yeah. table. We will, have, we will have a good time. So thank you for your time and for being with us this evening. And we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you. All righty.